Hey folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Pump Master video. And today we're gonna check out 3 out of 5 Drock and Star Raptor, right? So, Drock and Star Raptor, um, they're a pretty interesting unit because they do a lot of things, right? Uh, it's a flying nuker, it could do some flying damage, uh, debuffs your opponent's uh, evasion, which is very, very rare, but also very, very um, useless. <laughs> Not very useful. Uh, debuffs on his attack, all that stuff, right? So that's really, really, you know, fun and cool. So, all right. So what we built over here is we went with as much sync move damage as possible, which is we had these two. Well, not as much as possible because I probably could have picked another like attack plus like 10 node. But um, yeah, we have the uh, two sync move power ups and then we have both the um, the 100% multipliers, right? Sync, uh, sync nuke multipliers. Pecking order. That's the uh, that's the attack debuff one, and then easy target, which is the evasion debuff one, right? So on top of the innate one, which is also you know attack debuff. That's this is setting up to be a very very you know um, decent sync nuke, right? So the way I thought about it, the only way we could actually get this through um, in three in three turns, right, on our first sync is if we feather dance with him completely, so we have someone else buff his. Uh, crit and physical attack. Oh, thankfully, there's someone for that. And then we have Altari over here to debuff the opponent's evasion with defog plus clear view. So this is minus two evasion every time you use it, right? And and we do need an MP refresh, right? So we do need an MP refresh to activate over here in order for it to work. So let's see how this goes, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm pretty excited to use him because, um, I, uh, again, I don't really care that much for Duraki's character. Uh, but I do like Star Raptor, and I do find it, it's just a pretty fun kit, right? So. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. So again, we do need one MP refresh on Defog, right? That's the um, that's the big, you know, if over here, right? So the, how, how this is going to work. I probably should have used X speed for first turn, though. All right. Defog. Get the evasion down. All right. Clear view. So it's minus two. Again, we didn't get the MP refresh there, right? We need an MP refresh. We need an MP refresh there. All right, the Feather Dance, which debuffs the opponent's uh, attack, spreads to the whole team, because it's Ripple Effect 9, right? So it's a guaranteed, uh... No! No MP refresh for Defog there, right? Uh, I mean, we can still go with the nuke, because that's still a very, very <laughs> high multiplier nuke, right? But, um, that's what, 3 100% and then 1 10% because I have, what, Crit Strike, uh, because <laughs> I have Crit Strike 1 on this guy. <laughs> uh, but, uh, we're, we're, we're going to try again just to see if we could get the highest powered nuke over here, right? With, um, with the rock. <laughs> the Feather Dance. <laughs> Why does the Feather Dance sound like that? <laughs> Anyways. Let's, uh, keep Feather Dancing. Get the, uh, Defogs in. Make another defog again. Oh, there we go. Got the MP refresh there, right? So that's enough for us to get a um, minimal evasion on the opponent, which is good, right? Minus six evasion. Then we get minus uh, six physical attack here, and that should set up for our max Duroc nuke, right? So long as we get the, uh, you know, <laughs> the crit buff. All right. One more of these. Oh. We don't have max um, physical attack because they debuffed our uh, attack, didn't they? Ah, this stage is not good for this then. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. It's plus four. Never mind. We're good. We're good. I was thinking of someone else. <laughs> uh, we have that. We have Twister here. And here we go. We got the max minus six evasion, minus six physical attack. Nuke. I was hoping that, like, instead of Brave Bird, it would have been Hurricane, so... Because he is a minus... He's a evasion debuffer, right? So at least, like, make the, uh... At least make the... At least make the evasion, like, useful outside of the nuke, right? Also, one thing we could have done is we could have picked up the, um... The crit shield. Because it could have been, you know, a few, you know, extra free points here. Because, uh, we're removing the fill effects, and, which in this case is, you know, the crit shield anyways, right? But... Um, anyways, regardless, let's, uh, let's get these in. I do want to get this in just so we get the gradual heals, right? We'll get the gradual heals for, um, for Duroc over here, right? Get gradual heals for the Brave Bird. Also gives our team a bit more speed, which is nice as well, All right? So instead of just straight up going into the, the, you know, attack mode. 
Uh, I guess we could have defogged with Altaria just because we were getting a second sink in here, right? But, oh well. Um, a flinch would be nice better here. Okay, that's fine as well, I guess. Okay, we can hit that and then we defog that one, then we can nuke the um, Hariyama. Which, assuming we get a crit, even though we don't have the um, minus six evasion on, on the Hariyama, it should still be should still be a very, very powerful nuke, right? Okay. Put that in. No more MP refresh there, so we get Twister. Or we could have just Spotlight Please and then we'll have a Brave Bird in there so we could kill the Brave Bird after the sink. Okay. Which probably would have been, you know, the, the better um, case scenario, right? Okay. The sink move animation looks amazing, though. The sink move animation definitely looks really, really good. Uh, we didn't crit there, unfortunately. No crit there. Did not crit. Alright. I'm surprised this stage doesn't have, like, a crit shield or whatever, just to make Darok more useful here. I don't know. <laughs> um, not that it really matters, I guess. Anyways. Uh, Alright. Well, that's that, right? Again, pretty powerful sync nuker, not that great of a damage healer. Uh, it's not like somebody issues one being Braper not that good because like Braper doesn't do that much damage Right, and then like you still have the, the you still take the recall even though like the standfast is actually pretty good on uh, Star after since we have standfast 7 plus 5 from the grid, right? But I mean it still hurts. It still hurts <laughs> uh, Let's try that again. We could throw in uh, Just to show you guys, you know the, uh, the 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 crit shield thing, which is really really nice So you basically get a free how many points is that? 150, right? With crit shield? Yeah, 150 points over here. You pick up the crit shield. And yeah, free free points, right? Because uh, again, you come in, defog, immediately get rid of the crit shield. All right, so. Because I mean, like we're, we're defogging anyways. So that's, that's also uh, a great thing that we could do. Not that we're defogging with the rock. <laughs> But if we weren't running Altaria, if we are just running like Duroc for like a tech, you know, sort of Feather Dance, Defog, Duroc, right? If we're not going for like Nuke and all that stuff, uh, you could do that, right? We could Defog with Duroc over here, right? Get, get rid of the, um, uh, you know, Crit Shield, right? Although, I do think it's a bit better than Altaria, I guess, just because... You know, after after like after Altaria defogs away the crit shield, a lot of times there isn't much to do with Altaria. Unless you're also using Altaria as a damage shield, which you know, obviously you could do some damage. Um, dragon and, and fairy wise, right? But outside of that, if you're like not <laughs> you know, using uh, Altaria to do more damage, she doesn't really do that much stuff. I mean the flinch I'm not a huge fan of Flinch and Master Mode. Flinch is very, very I think Flinch is very, very good and um uh, in Legend Arena, at least a lot of the Legend Arenas, right? Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, but in Mass Mode, I'm kind of meh on, um, on, uh, on, on, uh, on, on Flinch, right? I prefer the attack debuffs from Duroc. Also, I think Duroc's faster, right? Isn't it? Yeah, Duroc's very, very fast. Altar's not, like, incredibly slow, but Duroc's definitely faster, <laughs> right? How, how fast is, um, how about Saltaria again? I mean, also, Drock does give uh, full team speed buffs, right? Even though it's only plus three, unless you get an MP refresh, which is very, very hard, because I think it's, if I remember correctly, it's like an MP refresh two on like only one MP. Um, but yeah, it does give full team speed buffs. Speed buffs. Yeah, 250, that's not, you know, it's not very fast at all. So, uh, anyways, um, that's me with this one, I guess. Hope you all enjoyed. Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like and enjoy this video. Subscribe if you guys are new channel for some more Paul Mass's content. And yeah, uh, join the Discord if you guys want to talk about Poem Masters. All the stuff is in the description box down below, right? Um, have fun, folks, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next one.